Hey, Danny, where's this week's intro? Where's this week's intro? This is the intro. Where's this week's intro? What's up, news folk? Today, I'm interviewing more exchange students. Hope you enjoy. I'm Johnny Saffro, and I'm here with... Lando Schneider from Germany. Uh, Evelyn, and I'm from Finland. Is the school system very different from where you're from? Yeah, it is. So we can uh, choose our own schedule in Germany. We don't have so good food like you here in America. And what's the biggest difference from America in your home country? Uh, I think the public transformation, because you don't really have like buses or trains going on here. So maybe that's... Favorite foods from home? From home, I think it's uh, Wiener Schnitzel. Awesome. And what's your favorite part of your trip so far? Um, when we first came to America, we were in a trip in New York and that was really cool. And of course, being here and meeting new people is very nice. I'm Isabel and I'm from the Netherlands and I'm here with... Johnny Safra. Is the school system very different? <laughs> um, I've been to a few different schools. I've been to schools in Florida and Michigan. Uh, and I think Wayland's probably the best one. It's not very different. They're all pretty similar. What is your favorite food from home? Ooh, it's tough. Probably sushi's really good. I also like firehouse subs. See you later, Wildcats. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. What's, What's up, Wayland? It's Paige and Emily. And today we're going to play a little game called Locked or Unlocked. Let's, Let's go. go. We got Amber Turner's card. Let's see if it's locked or unlocked. Ooh, what a nice little patriotic... What was that thing? A blanket? Towel? Is something in there? It is locked. Good job, Wayland. Emily, where'd you go? Where? I'm here with Kylie Joy Skinner's beautiful Mercury. Um, let's see what she has in Open. Looks like she didn't finish her breakfast. Do you like a bite? <laughs> um, what else? Oh! My whole closet. I'll be taking this with me. All right, here, now we got Dylan Sen's car. Let's see if it's locked or unlocked. It is locked, but he does, it looks like some type of energy drink in, energy drink in there and a, some drink that's probably been in there for a couple of weeks. All right guys, so this is Hannah's car. Let's see if it's unlocked. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's see, Hannah has McDonald's in here, which is crazy. And, Let's take this for a joy ride. Now we got Annika Mohan. Let's go. All black car. Chrome detailing, pretty nice. Locked or unlocked? Unlocked. Let's see what we have in here. Chapstick lip gloss. More lip gloss. Some pretty cute sunnies. Nice job, Annika. It's raining pretty hard out here, so we gotta go in pretty soon. It's only a couple more cars, but now we do have Shelby Lynn's car. Shelby Lynn Montague, if you wanna be specific. And it's unlocked. Let's see what she's got in here. She has a name tag down there. It smells like apples in here. Honestly, Shelby, clean your car, babe. Looking old. Last but not least. Rice folder, come this way. This tent, looking pretty sharp, Rice. Locked or unlocked? It's locked. What can I say, he's a responsible guy. Disclaimer, all parties involved consider having their cars fondled, touched, and driven. Do not try to recreate this. Name that song challenge. Landon, Austin, Graham, Gabari. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay.
KP2, Gram 1, me 1. Gibson, we asked you some questions about our cause game. So, very first question is, what is it about? Like, why are we doing this? Uh, the idea of this particular game actually was several years in the making. Um, I wanted to do a game in honor of Pat Coughlin, who was a very dear friend of mine. And the theme of the family, friends, and hero heroes is really what he was all about. So that's where the title was generated, or the idea of it was generated from. And then uh, the past two years, we've done it in support of teenage or adolescent mental health. Okay. Which is player driven. The players decided that's what they wanted to do. Okay. Like, what's like, what's our, what's your goal for this college game? Like, what are you, what are you um, looking to do? The, the goal, obviously, is is awareness. Um, that's the primary goal, and then of course, with that comes the the uh, charity event portion of it. Which, as a team, we're hopeful to raise ten thousand dollars which I don't know if we've done that yet. And of course, throughout the course of the night, um, we'll be raising more money. We raised 10,000 last year. I'm hoping to um, double that this year. So hopefully 20 to $30,000 um, would make for a great evening. Hey, Wildcats. Let's go ask some seniors who they're playing for, for the cause game and why. I'm playing for my cousin, Carson. Uh, he was in an accident down in Florida last year. Uh, he needed life-saving surgery and he's just been a role model for me forever. He's my older cousin. So yeah, and he actually just surprised us and came home, so it'll be a good night for all of us. Um, I'm playing for my grandpa. He got cancer last year, and this year he's really sick, and he can only make it to a couple games, so he's coming on Friday, so I want to play for him. Uh, this year I've been playing with two jerseys, number eight and number 59. So I got both jerseys to get a name on the back, and for my number eight jersey, I decided to play for my uncle and to pay respect to him for taking me in when I was so young and being a father figure, I wrote dad. And then on my second jersey, I wanted to pay respect to my aunt, 59. And then I wrote mom on the back of that to res pay respect to her also for also taking me out. I'm playing for my mom because she does a lot for me and a lot for the football program. And she makes me food every day. 